Hey Royal folks, it's me again. How are you all doing today? It's great to have you back at the channel. And of course, big thanks for always supporting us guys. We couldn't do it without you. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified about the latest Royal drama. It's gonna be a big couple of weeks coming up guys. So we're gonna get started today. Now, as we all know, Samantha Markle, now, she's suing Meghan for defamation and injuries, falsehoods, including claims in an Oprah Winfrey TV interview of being an only child. <clears throat> now, she's seeking $75,000 in damages uh, in a case lodged in March. On Tuesday, a judge rejected a bid to stop Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, from giving evidence. Now, a deposition is a formal testimony from a witness or someone involved in a case given outside of the court, but under oath. And the ruling by Judge Charlene Edwards Honeywell in a district court in Florida means if the case goes further ahead, Meghan and Prince Harry could have to face such questioning. But the judge added that a preliminary peak suggested some of the claims may be ripe for dismissal. Court papers in the civil case show that Samantha alleges Meghan, number one, exposed her to humiliation, shame and hatred on a worldwide scale. Number two, misrepresented, uh, misrepresented their relationship when they were growing up, giving the impression they were virtually strangers and she had no relationship whatsoever with her sister Meghan. And number three, falsely and maliciously stated she was an only child when interviewed with Prince Harry by Oprah Winfrey in 2021. Number four, pursued a false rags to rolls narrative, claiming childhood hardship, which destroyed her half-sister and father's reputation and credibility. <clears throat> now, court documents show that Samantha claimed she had a much closer relationship with her half-sister, with frequent and regular contact throughout her childhood. And she recalls how their father paid for Meghan's expensive private education and helped launch her acting career. The claims are accompanied by 38 requests for admission, which seek to put statements and questions to Meghan. This includes the statement, Your sister Samantha Markle has driven you to school on a regular basis at a certain period of your life. According to court docs, the response from Meghan's legal team is what this is, a vague and ambiguous request and not relevant to any of the claims. Now, in response to you are not an only child, the reply from Meghan's lawyers is that a statement that she grew up or did not grow up as an only child cannot be defamatory as a matter of law. They argue that a comment about an only child does not distinguish between biological relations on the one hand and the manner in which a child was raised on the other. Other statements in Samantha's claim inviting a response include Queen Elizabeth was not racist and King Charles is not a racist, which drew the reply from Meghan's lawyers that this <clears throat> was not relevant to any party's claim or defence. So, of course, we want to get your guys' thoughts on this as well. What do you think about all this controversy? Now, well, of course, if you can share your thoughts in the comments, that would be awesome. Um, and let us know. We really want to hear from you guys and we'll, we'll see you in the next video. So have a nice day and see you then.